Hello, welcome to our garden. Wednesday the 18th of January today, it's a cold one. Uh, got down to about minus two last night, so not the nicest. Um, everything in the greenhouse seems okay. Um, I wasn't gonna be doing too much this week other than just general tidying up. I've cleaned out a couple of beds, uh, built a little friend, uh, friend? Built a uh, little tent frame like thing um, across the bed I'm going to be using for brassicas this year. Um, so I've done some little bits like that. But last week, the 11th, so yeah, a week ago, um, I planted a few bits and pieces in the propagator, some aubergines, some peppers, tomatoes, and cucumbers. I did it last year, although I don't know whether I covered that on the video, but did something similar last year, um, but not with a propagator. Now, I didn't realise just how much propagators can help things along. Very daft statement, I know. Um, a lot of it's germinated. The um, peppers, they've not germinated yet. Everything else, however, has. And the cucumbers have gone a little bit mad. So I'm going to be potting them up today. Um, still keeping them in the house, um, but I think I might step them away from the propagator and just pop them on the windowsill upstairs. They'll be bioradiators, they'll get additional heat from there, but hopefully it'll stop them springing because they are very, very leggy. Um, not sure if they're going to work or not, but, you know, it's my first year with a propagator, so thought I'd give it a go. So somewhere in here, yeah. if these little paper pots... I'm not sure that's going to be big enough. Have we got any other ones? Yes, we do indeed. Some bigger paper pots. Um, let's have a look, see. So, yeah, these are much bigger size. I quite like using these for two reasons. Firstly, biodegradable. So, when I come to pot them on again, I put the whole thing in so I'm not going to disturb the root network. But vastly more importantly, they were on offer 50p. It's no brainer, give them a go. And I actually got on quite well with them last year. I picked up more than I needed for the year. Um, and I'm quite pleased I did because I'm going to be using them again this year. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do, use some of these. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you them first. Right, bear with me. So, my propagator setup's quite simple. It sits on the windowsill. And as you can see, these were the 11th. My cucumbers seem to have gone a little bit mad. Now I have unfortunately lost one. Due to my cat. It snapped and I don't think that's going to come back, but we'll see. But I think, get these potted up individually and I can set them up just over there. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually doing really, really well. well I didn't realise how dry the cucumbers have actually got. Yeah, needs doing. Aubergines. Ironically, the one I'm not supposed to plant just yet has come up nicely. So they're the pinstripes. The early longs haven't come up yet. And then nothing yet on the chilies. These are all planted. Oh no. No, nothing on the chilies. These are all planted on the 11th. Right, let's head back to the greenhouse. Yeah, so as you can see, they are a little bit leggy, so I'm going to pot them on. Um, I'll just come back to the greenhouse and I'll have a little root around for my compost to see what I've got. Um, I've got some general purpose compost, so that's absolutely fine, I can use that. The only issue is, it's, uh, it's frozen solid. Oh, don't think it'll be a good idea to put them in there just yet. So what I'll do is break it all apart, which I'm not sure I can. Yeah, I certainly can't with one hand, so I'll have to do that off camera. Um, break it all apart, get the pots all set up with the right amount of soil in them, and then I'll have to bring them in to thaw out. So I'll probably bring you back this evening um, to do that. Or most likely I'll just forget to record that bit and then either add on a little bit or there'll be some text up here saying James is a pillar because he forgot to record it. Um, yeah, so I'll do that in a minute. But while I'm in here, we are having a little bit of success, which is quite nice. Um, if I move my cup of tea. So, I switch the camera around for a minute and I can show you. So, this is how I'm trying to keep things just above freezing. So, in here we've got our spring lettuce. It's just a mixed, I think it's called mixed gourmet. Um, but they're all springing up nicely. 
So I think once this frost is gone, then I'll probably look to putting them on some larger pots. Or I've got some nice long pots somewhere. Um, the peas. Well, the peas don't look like they've done an awful lot, if I'm honest. But I certainly noticed, because I like to see what's going on, a little dig around. And notice this compost has also frozen. Well, that's a bit of disappointment because they weren't frozen and they were doing okay. Uh, radishes, don't know if you can see in there, you probably can't. Oh yeah, look, there you go, you can just about see. Just in between my fingers, they have all germinated and they start to sprout, which is good. I'll show you that tent, excuse the mess. <laughs> Still trying to clear all this out. But yeah, that's what I've put over there. So I'll be running brassicas straight down the centre of that. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, not an awful lot to do. I'm going to go thaw out some mud. Um, and yeah, and either I'll bring you back to show what I do later on this evening. You'll probably see a video of me in here going, I'm sorry, I didn't record that. But yeah, either way, speak to you later. Right. I remember to record it. We're in. So, cucumber plants, two varieties. We've got the, one of these, the telegraphs, which are the ones that I have most success with, and then the tasties as well. And because that one's broken, I'll be, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. It's as simple as that. I will only need two good plants anyway. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm gonna have to replant these because this is really early and it does make me a bit nervous. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now, the soil is still quite cold. So there's a chance this might actually cause an issue here. But it is going straight on a heated propagator, so that will thaw out pretty bloody quick anyway. Um, so, what I've done, you won't be able to see very well because it's very dark soil. Um, stuck my finger in, made a little hole. And then, as I think you're gathering, like with my high-tech watering system, I only use the most high-tech equipment. So this is my seedling puller outer, otherwise known as an HB2. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prise very gently from underneath this little plant. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Probably not. Gently prise her out. Ooh, try not to knock everything over. Now I'll put this on a flat surface. Ooh. I'm still absolutely amazed that this is a week it's taken. Just one week. Shocking. Right, so, in she goes. Gently kneading her down. Now she doesn't go all the way down to the very bottom. That would be a bit too much for her. Nick some of the soil out of this. It's really warm, this soil. Yeah, of course it is. Heat a prop of course it's warm. Silly thing to say. Like so. Same again for the other one that's still good. Use my high tech seedling puller outer. Very gently loosen it out. Now, the other one, a lot of the soil came off. I don't actually want the soil to come off, so you can see that's kept it. It's only got a wee bit of root network. It has got some, so I want that to stay intact because that's what's going to form its main root network. Again, oh, very gently place it in there. Now, if you remember, or if you've seen the videos from last year, my cucumbers go very mad in my greenhouse as they do for everybody's. So I'm not too concerned at this point about how far away the leaves are, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh dear, you keep falling over, don't do that. Right, there we go. So there's those two. Put them to one side. And then same again with these. Oh, I'm making a mess. My wife won't be happy. Get some of this soil out here quickly. Big old bits in here.
Right. So these ones are the Tasty Kings. These ones are nice. These ones I tend to grow outside, but this year I'm going to give a go at growing them in the greenhouse as well. So if you look, I've, what I've done this time is I've just taken the soil out so you can see the level. So that's roughly where I want it. So it's sitting about yay high for where the sea is going to be. So a lot of this bit will now get covered, which is fine because this will promote stronger growth at the base. And whilst I do tie them up, fundamentally, it's much better for the plant to have a thicker base because cucumbers it grows are quite hefty anyway. Oh, receiving a call on my phone. Yep. So I'll carry on with this and I'll bring you back when they're all done. All right, so that's them now all in their pots. Now, I don't want to be adding too much water here. Now this was frozen and it's dried out. It's thawed out, sorry, which means it'll have dried out a wee bit. Doesn't seem very safe, does it? It's my children putting their plugs and stuff everywhere. That's not bad a minute. But yeah, so they should all be nice and fine for a few more weeks and then we'll be back to potting them up again. All right. So that's cucumbers sorted. I'm glad I actually remembered to do it. Um, thank you ever so much for joining us at our garden. Um, if you do enjoy this content, like and subscribe. If there's anything you want to see differently, please do leave a comment in below. Um, but other than that, I hope you all have a lovely day.